The following is scheduled for one fall. Making his way to the ring from Marietta, Georgia. Weighing in at 233 pounds, Brad Armstrong. If you listen to After the Bell this week, you know this is a match I've wanted to see for quite some time, and it's almost time to start. We're talking. And his opponent from New York, weighing in at 238 pounds, beautiful Bobby Eaton. I cannot believe how badly the WWE Universe has dropped the ball when it comes to supporting this competitor. This is an aspirational superstar. Yeah, this aspirational superstar has said that every member of the locker room and the WWE Universe is entitled and lazy. We should all aspire to be that honest, Saxton. Calls himself the standard bearer of this division and plans on proving it in a matter of moments. And here's a superstar that has all the tools to be one of the biggest names this business has ever seen. I'm not ready to crown him as the next big thing just yet, but his performance in this match could sway me. You're not the only person to be looking to convince tonight. Yeah, but he's going against the superstar who refuses to ever back down from a fight, refuses to back down from any challenger. He's not exactly the sharpest tool in the shed in that regard, but you have to appreciate his willingness to keep on fighting. Saw that one coming, took advantage. Oh, my God. Pendulum backbreaker. Tick tock. Body oh, European uppercut. That can't be enough, can it? A kick out after one. He's trying to get this done fast, looking to avoid going into deep waters. There's the arm ringer. Followed by the leg drop. Ooh, stinging kick. He's looking a little off balance. He planned for this and could still rally. How are they going to hear after this match? Ah, uh, heel hook. Look at this. Oh, that's so painful. It's hard to watch, too. Stop in the leg. Crushing the hamstring. A third. And now he's just being pushed around. Yeah, the defects in his game are leaving him vulnerable. Great body control. He's returning fire. If he was looking for an opportunity to pull a 180, that could be it. Big knee to the midsection. Looking to apply an agonizing armbar stretch. Oh, that can prohibit any use of their shoulder going forward. Nice takedown. Look at the arm for a Fujiwara armbar. Ah, uh, Fujiwara armbar applied. Having a weakened arm can limit you in so many ways, making it harder to execute on even simple attacks. First on the shoulders. A backbreaker now. Smash! This match grinded him down a little. As the arm bar stretch in. Punishing stretch. The advantage now is squarely in his corner. Stringing together some big moves here. Oh, face first. 
He thinks he has it. And he powers out. You have to think this battle is starting to weigh down on him. Uh-oh. Punch to the stomach and stopped in. Set up the Nicely done. Huge turning point right here. A kick out. I don't believe it. I thought for sure this thing was wrapped up. Well, stay in your seat. Looks like we've got a ways to go yet. And I think to get the pinfall, you have to try that maneuver one more time. Yeah. Trap the arm. Into the neck breaker. Looking for a high move. He's lining him up. Soaring. What impact. Counters that. Hip toss. No. These guys were awesome. Let's take another look. Here is your winner, Brad Armstrong. That's the kind of win that can take their career to the next level. This victory is exactly the kind of statement I knew he wanted to make here. This was a message from him to the entire WWE Universe.